Hi, this is a really quick video on using FabFilter Twins uh, external input. Um, so just to show you the default sound, we've got a simple sawtooth there. This is an interesting synth because it's um, semi-modular. It's not quite levels of reactor or oscillot, but there's a lot of interesting stuff you can do. If you hit the plus button here, you've got the modulation options and they can be connected to nearly anything. Um, we've also got two filters at the moment, they're in series, but I'm just going to pull down the cutoff of filter one. And there you can hear it is with a little bit of resonance. And you can see that that's our cutoff control just there. Okay, so let's take a listen to this loop. It's just a top loop. Okay, nothing particularly special. What I'm going to do is um, in the um, in out preferences I'm going to route that to fab filter twin and if we press play we shouldn't hear anything. Um, as you can see the audio's making a signal and if we turn up this return uh, we can hear it there. Um, so in fab filter twin what I'm going to do is hit the plus button and go to create a new envelope follower um, and by default this will you know, take any incoming uh, audio. So let's um, click on this little target, drag it to the filter, and when that opens up, put it on the cutoff frequency rather, and you can see you've got the modulation amount there. If we increase that, and I play a MIDI note, so you've got to tweak it a little bit. Let's pull down the attack and the release as well. Um, so that's the premise of how you can get uh, an external audio loop to trigger a parameter within FabFilter Twin. Um, obviously I'm doing something just simple, um, essentially using it as a glorified envelope generator, but it could be used to do much else. Um, as for source material, drums work particularly well because they're very transient. Things like pads and um, uh, sounds with less dynamics won't work so well. That's all. Thanks very much.